Alright, ho ho, Bourbon Quest. Welcome back to host Bourbon Steve here. It's another edition of uh, Bourbon Quest. So, alright, let's start off with saying stay hydrated, my friends. So, this is one I've been pondering, putting off, whatever. It's the Jefferson's brand. And I'm just going to let you know right up front. I've already, alright, so we're going to do three bottles tonight. There's the Jefferson's Ocean uh, Voyage 22. Uh, we did there. And then recently we did the Jefferson's Reserve Store Pick, which I was not a fan of. And then I had another Jefferson's Voyage. This is, uh, what Voyage is this? Yeah, Voyage 18, Cash Strength. I'll tell you. Based upon these two, not a huge fan of Jefferson's brand. One reason being that, and this isn't always the case, like, yes, I do tend to have a bias if you don't distill your own stuff, to a certain degree. And that's one of my biggest problems with Jefferson's is they source, they don't distill, they contract out, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've not been at least crazy about the juice on these two. I def definitely didn't like the Jefferson's Reserve store pick. Um, the weeded was was good for a weeded. Um, I think it's a lot of marketing and hype. Um, I picked up this caster before. I haven't opened that one yet, so that'll be a fresh, uh, a fresh cracking tonight. And then we'll just go through them and see if that still holds true. I, I grin. Just warning is that I tend to have a bias against people that don't distill their own stuff or have no intention of distilling their own stuff, which I think Jefferson's has been around either for 20 or 25 years now. I watched a documentary on it a while back and was underwhelmed. Um, and then just didn't like their story, their history, whatever. Listen, I know. I forget the guy's name but that started Jefferson's. I get what he was doing. I give him kudos. There's a lot of people that love this stuff. I'm just not one of them. And I'm going to see if they can maybe change my mind tonight. Um, but, you know, there are exceptions. Like, I mean, eventually, Smoke Wagon will distill their own stuff. Right now, they're sourcing. But it's exceptional, so I'm okay with that. Um, but... When you're not distilling and you're sourcing and coming up with gimmicks about putting barrels on a boat and whatever, I don't know. This is not my jam. If it's yours, great. That's more power to you. So, anyways, we do this uh, Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 18 cast strength. That'll be a, a fresh crack tonight. And we'll just double check these to see if maybe I'm wrong I've been wrong before won't be afraid to admit it so yeah Jefferson's Ocean aged at sea voyage 18 cast strength a fresh uncorking oh America what I get yeah Thomas Jefferson a trailblazer and since this is a fresh crack we'll do the uh Two ounce infinity pour. There we go. And then the other two I've had before. I actually did like this uh, Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 22 weeded. It's a really good weeded bourbon, but I mean, it wasn't crazy good. And I did not like this. Uh, oh shit. Uh, Jefferson Special Reserve store pick, but and again, let's go through them. So let's let's run it this way. Let's start with the two that I've had before. See if anything's different on these. Um, again, I have a bias against Jefferson, so yeah, the nose is like. Sour apple, stringent, 
the nose is not very inviting. And I, I, that's kind of what I remember. All right, let's check on the palate. I will say I think it's better now than I previously remember, but I still got that sour apple, and you do get some caramel vanilla, but I forget exactly what I paid for it, but I want to say it was around 50, 60 bucks. I would say this is definitely a pass. Yeah, I don't like the nose. Yeah, I get that sour apple. I just, and that's not my flavor profile. That's what I get on that. Remember, stay hydrated, my friends. All right, let's go back to the second one. This is the uh, Oceans, uh, Jefferson's Oceans, Voyage 18, Weeded. I do like the nose on this. I mean, that wheat, it's soft, it's subtle. You do still get some of that apple, vanilla, caramel. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. I mean, it's a decent weeded bourbon. I just think it's overpriced, overhyped. Yeah, the marketing gimmick of putting it on a on a ship and selling it around the ocean. I don't think it's bad. I just think there's better values. I mean, I'd rather have a Weller Antique for around the same price one price point, even a Weller Special Reserve, a Makers. I do like the nose better than I did on the first one, and even the palette. I don't. I still don't think it's exceptional or worth what you pay for it. Again, it's not bad, it's decent. I don't think it's exceptional. All right, let's cleanse the palate and go to the one that I haven't had before. No, we just did the fresh crack in four and that's the Jefferson's Ocean uh, Cast Trent uh, Voyage 18. Oh, I already poured it. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. It does look a little darker in color. Mm. Now, the nose on this is very robust. I mean, you definitely get that proof. What is the proof on that? So, Jefferson's Ocean, Asia Sea, Cast Strength, 112 proof. Yeah, you definitely get the proof on that. Whereas the weed it is 90 proof and then this special reserve is 100 proof. What was this one? 110? 112. 112 proof. So, I definitely get that. I get the proof on the nose. I get that rich, dark, caramel, vanilla, touch of orange. Definitely get vanilla, caramel, orange, kind of like a cream brulee. Well, the nose on this is actually pretty damn good. Mm. By far the best nose of the three. All right, cheers, Bourbon Quest. All right, I will say that's delicious. I mean, it's... Caramel, vanilla, orange, cream brulee, cherry. That's definitely by far the best of the three. For sure. I mean, the nose is excellent. This is worth buying. I will def I'll give a thumbs up on that. Let's go, let's cleanse the palate and go back one more time to make sure. But my initial thought is that calf strength is exceptional <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I definitely get, I get that orange, that vanilla, caramel, cream brulee. That's, that is worth buying. I, I, I was hoping it wouldn't be because I was trying to kill this brand, to be honest with you. Um, but no, um, and granted, I, I probably had that actually a couple of years. Uh, that's by far the best of the Jeffersons, the uh, Boyd's 18, Cast Strength. I mean, you do get a little bit, now that I think about it, a little bit of that salt, but not not overwhelmingly. I mean, it's it's really, really good. I, I think that's... Mm. This is exceptional. By far the best of these three here. Um, I think the Jefferson's Reserve store pick was the worst. I would even say pass on this. Uh, I mean, it's good. It's just not exceptional. Um, and I think there's better values and better flavors for right around the same point. A Makers, uh, a Weller. Hell, even go piggy up a McFarland's at a total wine if you want a weeded bourbon. I will say, the nose is really coming around on that. Yeah, the palate, I mean, if you like a weeded bourbon, you probably would like that. Um, it's very subtle, very sweet. Um, Definitely crushable. I do not like this one at all. I, I do like this. I just think that there's better values. I think this is a, definitely a thumbs up. This is probably like a thumbs three quarters of the way up. To be honest with you. This is a thumbs down. Um, in my opinion. And again. I'm not crazy about the brand. Um, I don't mean to be disparaging at all. I just, I don't like their story. Don't like the background. I like, I like what he was trying to do and what he was going for. It just, it, and many of you may like it. And if you do, so, leave a comment. Let me know why you like Jefferson's. Um, you know, Ultimately, it's about what the juice inside, but I also give a lot of credit and creed to the story and the background and how it came about. And I mean, you can't help it if you weren't born into the Jim Beam lineage and you're trying to create and do something, which I do give credos and respect to. But at the same time, unless it's exceptional, which I do think this one is. So there's, there's some value there. Um, that's just my opinion. Feel free to, I mean, have your own opinion, but it's not a brand that I'm crazy about. And, um, I don't know. I have conflicting views. I'm not crazy about the brand. I do like this. Um, but I think there's better alternatives. I do think this is exceptional. I would definitely give a big thumbs up to that. This, the Jefferson's Reserve store pick, yeah, not a fan of. All right, so let me know what your thoughts are, Bourbon Quest. I'm giving you my opinions on this, um, especially if you have a differing opinion. I'd love to hear it, why you like it. Um, what you think about their story and their history. Um, you know, I, I admire anyone that takes a risk and puts something out. And it, it's been successful. They've done a lot of great things and I'm sure will continue to be a, a success. I just don't think it's one that lines up with what my values and beliefs and tastes are. I will say this is great though. Alright, so... Since this is great, we'll take another, another little pour of that. I, I, was, I wasn't expecting great things from this, but I was wrong. This is good. It's actually 
damn good. Mm. It really is. It's sweet, caramel, vanilla, a bit of spice, black pepper, cream brulee. I mean, out of these three, I would definitely buy the cast strength again. Um, it, it definitely exceeded my expectations. I think the weeder, you know, met my expectations, but I do still think there's better values on the, out there for a good weeded bourbon. This I was not a fan of, uh, but there you have it. Uh, but hey, I just want to give you information, content, um, always value your comments. Uh, thank you for all the subscribers. They've really been picking up over the last couple of weeks. So thank you. Thank you. If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up there. Uh, it doesn't cost anything and therefore uh, it does help out the channel and me. So I do appreciate that. We're trying to get to 500. I think I, I think we're, we're rolling towards that for sure. Uh, smash that like button if you like the content we're bringing. And like I said, feel free to leave a comment and yeah, especially if you're a fan of Jefferson's, let me know what you, why and, um, and what your experience has been. I've had, I guess, a mediocre experience at best. The only exception being th this cast strength is really good. I was very surprised by that. But, hey, anyways, that's what I got to offer you. But as, We'll just wrap it up because... We're going nowhere. But my wish for you, as always, is that all your Bourbon Quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha! Jefferson's. I mean, I, I like that. That was really good.